Senate campaign of Congressman Mo Brooks took a blow Wednesday with the announcement that former President Donald Trump was pulling his endorsement of Brooks. So Trump's announcement comes after recent polling showed that Brooks was trailing in the race. Trump says he will be making a new endorsement in the near future. And the two other leading candidates in the Senate race are Katie Britt, a former top aide to retiring U.S. Senator Richard Shelby and Mike Durant, an aerospace executive and retired U.S. Army Black Hawk pilot. Now News 19's Brian Lawson joins us in the studio with more. So Brian, Donald Trump's decision drew most of the attention yesterday, but Congressman Brooks is saying there is more to this story. Yeah, that's exactly right. It's pretty extraordinary. Congressman Brooks is saying that 14 months after President Biden was sworn in, former President Trump is still pushing to overturn the 2020 presidential election. In Coleman last August at a rally with former President Donald Trump, Mo Brooks spoke about the 2020 election. There are some people who are despondent about the voter fraud and election theft in 2020. Folks, put that behind you. Put that behind you. Yes! Look forward! Look forward! Look forward! Beat them in 2022! Apparently, the former president really didn't like that. He cited the remarks Wednesday in announcing he was pulling his endorsement in the U.S. Senate race, saying, quote, Mo Brooks of Alabama made a horrible mistake recently when he went woke and stated, referring to the 2020 presidential election scam, put that behind you, put that behind you, despite the fact that the election was rife with fraud and irregularities. Brooks says that's not why Trump pulled the endorsement. President Trump ha has asked me to rescind the 2020 elections, immediately remove Joe Biden from the White House, immediately put President Trump back in the White House and hold a new special election for the presidency. Brooks said when he talks to Trump, Trump always brings up, we've got to rescind the election. As a lawyer, I have repeatedly advised President Trump that January 6th was the final election contest verdict and neither the United States Constitution nor the United States Code permit what President Trump asked. Period. Brooks had prominently touted Trump's endorsement. I've told President Trump the truth, knowing full well that it might cause President Trump to rescind his endorsement. It doesn't appear that Brooks publicly mentioned Trump's rescind the election talk until after the endorsement withdrawal. But he says his message to Trump was firm. I'm an attorney. I have studied the Constitution. I have studied applicable law. And that is not a legal remedy under the United States Constitution. News 19 has asked the Brit and Durant campaigns about Trump's endorsement. Both candidates have had meetings with Trump. We also asked, also asked what they would tell Trump if he asked about rescinding the 2020 election. Neither campaign gave us a response. Christine, Greg.